Hey guys, okay, so I'm kind of bumming because I really wanted to do a funny video. Um, I've had my sister and my niece staying with me for the week, and when my sister came up, she had to wear a certain dress to my niece's um, recital type thing, and she brought out this tight ass shapewear and this underwear that like this padded underwear that gives you like an ass obviously. So I really wanted to do a funny video called like fuck shapewear, which uh, I absolutely still want to. Ew. Um, definitely still going to do it because I think it's hilarious, but I, I also don't think I can right now because I think she's wearing the butt pad and the goofy butt. I don't know, but I'll have to get that from her and try to do that tomorrow. But I didn't even want to do a video on, um, This is horrifying. I don't know what that noise was, and I just looked down, and my vent is completely broken off the wall. Um, anyway. Do I really have to restart this video? This is why I hate fucking being at home by myself. I went to do a video on suicide. Now, a couple days ago, I did a whole video on my friend Matt that I <clears throat> um, lost back in 2012. Um, he didn't commit suicide. I have a different friend that did, and I've touched on that briefly with you guys. Uh, but I'm just texting my friend over Snapchat, and I clearly know that he's, I mean, I hope that he's kidding, but you know how whenever something doesn't go your way, we just, oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself, like, but really, you know, and I still can joke about stuff like that, even though I've been through it, um, you know what I mean, like, even with my brother, like, he literally walked in the day before Christmas, walked into his apartment, and saw, found his roommate that had hung himself. I, I've never walked in on something like that, uh, but I'll kind of get into the story, but I don't want to do many details because not that they would probably ever watch my video, but I don't want it to like hurt somebody's feelings. This was quite a few years back. This was in 2010 um, that this happened to quite a long time ago, but it's still to the family, whatever. Uh, I had no idea that it was this serious because I've always been the type of person that jokes around about that. If somebody's like, oh my God, I just want to kill myself. You hear it all the time. But, um, and this is whenever I tell you guys stories of the apartment me and Tyler used to live in with our roommate, uh, the whole, um, Everclear story and all that shit that I talk about was at that apartment. But I knew that he was very depressed and he was 20 years old. I was seven, 16, 17 whenever I lived in this apartment. Um, and it was almost like I just kind of started living there. Like I just started staying there a lot and then I would like clean the house and do the dishes and um, basically it became our home. Like if we were out somewhere and people wanted to come up to the apartment, he was always just like, nope, come on, Katie and Tyler, like, let's go home. Like it just became, that's what it was. And I knew that he was like semi depressed, but not any more depressed than me or, you know, but I say it a lot that I, it sucks whenever you are in a really bad depression and you almost feel like you want to kill yourself, but you know that you never would. So you just have to deal with those thoughts. Um, I didn't know how deep his depression ran. I really didn't. I We weren't even that close, you know. We went to high school together and we ate lunch in the same group, but we never really talked until we actually started living together. And, you know, he was like a, dude, like a big guy. I mean, so whenever you have that, like, stigma on you, like you're a big dude, you shouldn't be a pussy, whatever. I've seen him cry multiple times. Like, we would sit up late at night and just talk and talk. I just spit. Um, and then I remember one night he was writing in a notebook and he literally wrote down, was writing his will. Um, his best friend was going to get his truck. Uh, it was like me, Ty or no, it was his best friend and then Tyler and then me. I was the third person on the list. And I remember that he was going to give Tyler all of his video games and his Xbox and he was going to give me his TV because, um, whenever he came to my house, he saw my tiny TV in my bedroom and like made fun of me for it. He's like, oh, I have to give you my TV. And I started to read it because he showed it to me one day and then people, I guess he heard them, they were about to walk in the apartment and he grabbed the notebook and threw it because he didn't want them to know what it was. And I guess that's a kind of concerning, but to be honest, I mean, back in the day, I used to do the same thing. I've literally, like, made suicide videos, like, on my camera and then deleted them. Like, I, a lot of it's probably just being, like, an overdramatic teenage girl, of course, but I still never thought, I mean, because you really don't think that that is really going to happen, but it's so messed up. And I just remember, um, because whenever I was a teenager, me and Tyler used to like house hop. I don't know. It was like one big slumber party all the time. Like we literally all took turns staying in our houses. It's weird. So me and Tyler ended up um, going to our friend's house, a different guy's house, <clears throat> with a bunch of people and we passed out there. And we woke up and um, the, our friend that killed himself, he had basically just turned 21. So he can now buy alcohol. Tyler used my phone to text him and said, hey, whenever you get off work, can you go by the gas station and get beer or whatever? And he was like, yeah, I can. So the last text message he sent was to my phone. Or that was the last text message. I don't know who he texted last for sure. Um, 
but like I pass back out again and then we wake up to the news one of our friends is banging on the bedroom window because it was like a basement so he's banging on the window and he was like so and so's gone and we we're like what are you talking about he's literally supposed to be here any minute to bring us beer and he was like no he did it he actually killed himself and it's so fucked because nobody when you hear those words you're not just gonna immediately burst into tears because it's not real you know what I mean like it doesn't seem real it's we're just like what are you talking about um and it was so fucked because he had actually left a voicemail to one of his friends saying, um, I leave the truck to so-and-so, I'll be here. But at this point, it had already happened. Um, they woke up and heard the voicemail. They raced over to his mom's house and then um, they couldn't get in the house. Everything was locked. It makes me so sad thinking about this. Like, I really don't want to cry right now, but I haven't talked about this in a really long time. And going back to that day, it fucks me up because... They ran, they rushed over to his mom's house. His truck was there in the driveway. Um, I guess there was a note. I don't really remember the whole, I mean, this was so long ago. I think there was a note. Um, they had to call his mom because all the doors were locked and they didn't want to break a window. And his mom opened the garage door and they found him. And I'm like getting goosebumps right now because I remember my, both of my friends that saw it immediately telling me that as soon as that garage door opened, um, they immediately started throwing up, throwing up. And it's so scary to think about because he didn't hang himself. He did it in a very, um, I, I just like, I don't like saying the words because I feel so, I don't want to be disrespectful, but if you can imagine, there's only so many ways. It wasn't pills and it wasn't, he didn't hang himself and it was a mess. Uh, I can't, that's the only way that I can describe it. And that they said that his mom ran up and just tried to like hold him, but there, like you, there wasn't any holding. Like I, it makes me sick. It makes me so sick thinking about it. But basically, um, there was like a good 30 people probably that we all got together at one of my friend's houses and we just like wanted to all be together. I think we went to the park and had like a barbecue and it was just really so fucked up. It was so nice to have everybody there, but I think like when people really talk about and it sucks because you can't ever blame yourself because I would have no idea that he, this was actually going to happen. No idea. I don't think anybody did, even his best friend. Because you can sit there and talk to your best friend how depressed, how depressed you are, but you honestly, to God, you just don't know. And most people that are actually going to kill themselves aren't going to always talk about it. You know what I mean? Like, those are the, the things that, almost the people that you have to worry about more. Um, but how can you worry when you don't really know, you know? You can always look for signs, but it's just really so sad. So I'm not saying, like don't joke about suicide. Like it's not nothing to joke about, but <clears throat> just having this conversation conversation with my friend kind of just, you know what I mean? It puts things into perspective or it just kind of made me think about it. Um, cause it's, it's one of the most awful feelings in the world. I have fucking my TVs on back there and it's creeping me out. But then I, then I, I mean, I'll have to do a whole nother video because that's, that's like at that point that was the closest to home that it's ever hit until I lost Matt about two years later. And then I was just like, Oh my god like I still haven't truly let myself feel that I don't think um I definitely have cried a lot but not not anywhere near that I really I because I think of him and the way I think of my first friend I literally just think that we haven't hung out in a while like we're just doing our own thing and whatever you know and uh, yeah and actually his the first person that I'm initially talking about he has a kid um, when this happened, his kid wasn't even one yet, I don't think. So it is crazy, what, like, seeing his pictures on Facebook and seeing his son grow up and it looks just like him. Like, it's nuts. Um, but those are, like, the all I'm really going to get into. I just kind of wanted to sit here and talk to you guys, and I haven't had, like, a moment to myself since I have. Like, my room's a, a disaster since I've had them staying with me. But honest to God, like, it's so nice to have people here because I don't feel alone. I can talk to my sister. We can be, like, ridiculous and goofy and... Just as soon as she'll leave, I'll be in Texas for a week, and I just really need to get the fuck out of here for a week, that's for sure. But thank you guys for listening. I'm going to fix my event because I didn't even know it was, like, popped off the wall, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.